An old saying in the English-speaking world, a picture is worth a thousand words. Images can sometimes be so powerful and so moving. In fact, in some cases, a single image can capture and tell an entire story. That's proving true in the life of Fidel Castro. Asiye Namdar joins us with more insight on the power of imagery. Mike, Fidel Castro's life was one filled with flashpoints and snapshots from the beginning of the Cuban Revolution in 1953 to his death last weekend. People are remembering him through images. Pictures of Fidel Castro are everywhere in Cuba. His life in front of the camera began in the early 1950s when he launched the Cuban Revolution. Backed by several dozen guerrilla fighters, he toppled General Fulgencio Batista and took power. He quickly became a thorn in the side of his nearby neighbor, the United States. In 1961, Castro defeated U.S.-backed paramilitary fighters who landed at the Bay of Pigs. The U.S. president placed a crippling trade embargo or blockade. In pictures, Cubans were seen suffering and struggling. But Castro appeared strong. He began appearing in what would become his trademark, a cigar, green shirt, beard, and hat. Today in Cuba, images of Fidel Castro are everywhere, outside people's homes and inside, in newspapers and on television. What we were, what we are and will be, we owe to him. Fidel is immortal. For me, he hasn't died. Immortal and hasn't died. Fidel Castro reportedly wanted it that way, using his image to keep his legacy alive. A column in The Guardian says he used photography in 1957 to secure victory. When he invited foreign journalists and photographers to meet him in the mountains of the Sierra Maestra before his final victory push. And he continued to use it throughout his life. Cuba libre! Viva Cuba libre! The images as equally as powerful for those who oppose Fidel Castro. In Miami, many Cuban Americans are using his picture to celebrate his death.